know how the sound, uh, the mic sound like with uh, the high speed winds. This is the very first time I've, uh, you know, I've ridden on the uh, on the highway with a mic setup that I have on. So I'm very very curious to, you know, know how it, you know, it's, it will sound like. But if it doesn't sound good, I know how to fix it. But I've always been curious, you know. I know I have a Cardo intercom system and anytime I talk to someone on the phone they can hear me loud and clear it doesn't matter how fast I'm going they cannot hear anything so I'm hoping that this is also the same uh, but we'll find out
what they got going on over there and I'll end the video. Oh, I may even end this video now. Yeah, go with the split again. Yeah, I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna head to cycle gear and then wrap up everything over there. But, um, it was a, such a nice ride. I'm not gonna lie to you about it, guys. a nice ride guys thank you so much for being with me I know all my videos are long man it's like watching a movie <laughs> oh man I'm so sorry guys but I love you guys yeah I love you guys I'm gonna be making more content for you anything that you want to see you want like just just let me know and I'll do it I'm rocking my new shoes remember the Salomon Yep, I'm rocking it right here. It feels so good. One thing I don't, I don't think I like. Um, let me shrink this camera first. One thing I think I, I don't yeah, is the um, the color. I think I would prefer black. You know, like my old one. I mean, I still haven't retired, you know, I just, um, I just don't, don't use it, but I, I still haven't retired it, so, but, but it is retired, not officially, but it is retired, but I still, you know, rock it like every once in a while, um, but I think I'm going to change the color, I'm going to buy a black one, um, because, um, I don't think it match with the uh, with the combination that I have here. So definitely, I'm gonna get a black one so it can match with it. What is the temperature? It's extremely hot, guys. It's extremely hot, and that is the reason why I don't like to sit because once you, once you sit, you're catching all this heat, and um, I don't have no water or anything like that with me. So and I'm talking. You can be choking. Yeah, it's it's just crazy, man. It's hot in Georgia. Extremely hot. Um, but yeah, I think I'm gonna get a black one, so it, you know it can match. And then I'll keep this for you know I don't know something else casual or whatever. But like I told you guys, anytime I hop on the bike, I have so many boots. So many shoes, so many sneakers, whatever you want to call it. But these Solomons, man, they feel like it felt. It feels to me like it, it, it was meant for for <laughs> for biking or you know motorcycling. That's how I feel. Um, I'm sweating on the media, guys. Ooh, sweating. Get out of here. So right now we're heading to Cycle Gear. It's down the road from here. I'm gonna just go walk around. I'm not gonna buy anything. I promise. I'm not gonna buy. I know I need a. I need to buy a new helmet. I'm looking into get uh, to get a, one of those showy um, helmet. They say it's very good. Um, it's nice and uh, it's very quiet and all that kind of stuff. Not that this is loud or anything, but um, a lot of people recommend that. So I think uh, I'm gonna look into that. I already went there, try one on, 
Uh, they got some good deals, so I sent uh, I signed up for their emails alert. So they send me a lot of stuff from time to time, and they got some good deal. Um, this is a very good time for me to try these cameras, the overheating, because this is still recording. That one too is recording. That's that's amazing, man. But I believe it shouldn't be a problem because um, because I'm constantly moving on the bike, so I don't think it should be a problem, you know. But it's extremely hot, so I, I want to see how you know I'm putting these machines through their paces today. They're gonna land a day. <laughs> Yeah, but uh, I want to get that showy uh, helmet. They say it's very good. Like I said, I tried on and everything, but... But other than that, I'm just going to drive through there, just walk around, see what they got going on. And we'll be heading home. Yep, we'll be heading home. So I want to thank you so much for staying with me, going to Atlanta. Um, the bumpy city. <laughs> the roads are getting better over there. I haven't been there for over three, four months. Um, so as you guys can see, or you saw, they were doing a lot of construction, so most of the roads uh, is being repaired, which is a good thing. But anytime you're getting close to the intersection or anything like that, you've got to, you got to slow down or else the bike is gonna throw you off, man. You don't want that. Yep, you do not want that. So, it was a nice ride, man. I truly appreciate it. I'm, I'm very, you know, I told you guys, I can ride this bike for hours. Like most people complain. And I have a review coming up. I have my 5,000 miles service coming up and I'm gonna do a full review on this bike. Some people complain about the you know, forward control. They want the mids. They want this, they want that. They're too tall. I think this bike was made for me, man. It fit me so well to the point that uh, sometimes I feel like I, I, I wish I'm a little shorter. <laughs> Sometimes I wish I'm a little shorter, man. Um, yeah, I have no issue with the seat. No issue with the forward control. Actually, I love the forward control. Uh, I have never ridden the one with the mids, but I love this. And I've seen people riding with, uh, with the mids and the uh, legs are you know, being curved in and all that kind of stuff. I think I prefer this one. It's a cruiser, you just, you know, put it on there. And even with a crash guard, you can put your foot on there if you, you know, if you're cruising like a long distance. It has a cruise control. Just set it and forget it, let it run. But, um, I think I like the forward controls, man. So I have a full 5,000 miles review coming up. Uh, that's gonna be interesting. And I need to take this back in for service, so, I'll say maybe in the next week or two, I'm gonna have to take it in. Uh, yesterday, I was supposed to go for a test ride on the can -Am, but I had a lot of stuff going on, so I wasn't able to do so. Um, and then today, I believe they're closed. I don't even know their hours. These uh, Mustang, I believe they're electric. Yeah, I believe they're electric or some kind of hybrid. I love the way they look. Yeah, they look very, very nice, man. But, um. Yeah, I believe these guys are close on um, on Sundays. So maybe next week I'm gonna do that. And then the following week I'm gonna take this bike. It's not quite there, maybe I'm at uh, 41, 42, 100. So maybe next week I'll just, uh, two weeks to come, probably just gonna go ahead and uh, you know take it for service. And then right after that, I'm gonna take you guys through the Harley. Uh, the dealership where I bought this. The only reason why I have to take it to, because it's too far away, you know, it's about an hour and a half from my house. You know, I have Harley, one, uh, the Harley that I took you guys to the last time is down the street from here, not too far away. Um, the only reason why uh, I take this to 
the dealer where I bought it is because of the warranty. They don't want anybody to work on the bike but them. Um, if I do, it can void my warranty. So I don't have any choice but to go, you know, I can even do the, um, the, the, uh, the 5,000 miles, you know, it's just an oil change. That's what they're going to do. I can do it. I work on all my cars, you know, but they don't want me to touch it. They say, don't do it. And that oil change, the kit, the, my first thousand miles that I did, it cost me three hundred, almost almost four hundred dollars. And what did they do? Nothing. They just do oil change. But if I would have went on my way and bought it, it would, it would not even cost me for like uh, the oil and the filter and all, all that. It would not even cost me for uh, I'll say um, it would not even cost a uh, hundred fifty dollars, man. A hundred, maybe a hundred dollars. Maybe a hundred dollars is gonna cost me to buy all the oil and then, um, you know, but they charge me, man. Almost four hundred dollars, which is so, 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 um, unfortunately, so annoying, you know, but if you don't keep up with the maintenance and something happened, they're gonna void your warranty. That's how they get you, guys. That's how they get you. But I'm not worried about this machine. I know most people are having some issue or they've had uh, a lot of issues on the bike. Um, but personally, I haven't had any issue because um, this is very, very well broken in machine. I broken very, very well. Um, I don't do those wheelies and all that kind of crazy stuff. I'm not saying if you do, it's gonna break your machine. I just don't do it. I'm not that type of guy that you know do all those kind of stuff so um, but I take care of my stuff you know this this machine is extremely expensive yeah it's very 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 expensive you know so I can't imagine just dropping it you just drop it once you're done you're done although I might have some uh, engine guards and all that kind of stuff but honestly you drop it you're done okay So these guys are so bad, they don't, they're not even nice to themselves when they're on the road, right? Whenever a Georgian see another Georgian driving, they are so bad and um, they don't they don't share. So if like what I did to her, she's shocked. She's like, whoa, you let me eat? Because no one, no Georgian is gonna let you in. No way, no way, no way, no way, no way, no way. Anyway, enough of that. But I could have done the oil change and all that kind of stuff myself. But um, because they keep record of the um, the servicing, they're gonna know maybe you skip a you skip a service, and if something happens to the bike, and then you you know they check it. Everyone, okay, well you did this and you did that, and you know so because of that. Um, we can do this for you and you know all that kind of stuff. Yeah And guys, I don't want it man It's okay as, as annoying as it sound I'm just gonna have to give it to them pay them the damn money and let them do it but um welcome to the cycle gear I'm gonna walk in there see what they get and I promise you guys man I'm not buying anything and if I buy anything <laughs> I'm gonna put it back on the channel so you guys can see it okay so thank you so much oh maybe let's just walk in there I'm gonna stop this camera check this out watch the way I'm gonna take this camera off and everybody should get this quick release, man. See it? Watch it. Bam! I just took it off. You need to get it. I'm gonna leave all the links down in the description below. But, um, oh, let me take my phone. I knew I was missing something. Yep, I knew I was missing something. But, um, 
Yeah, that quick release here, it's extremely amazing. I have two of those, so if I wanna, oh, and I bought me a, a selfie stick too, so <laughs> I think uh, it, it, it would be a very good accessories for me to use, so. But, yep, welcome to Saku Gear. Oh, look what they have here. Oh, great, 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 great. Hey, hey, how you doing? I hope you don't mind. I'm vlogging, look at her. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Grant. What's your name? Anisha. Anisha. Nice to meet you. I don't think I've seen you here before. Maybe. Really? About eight months. About eight months? Okay. Oh, I see. I see. I got you. I got you. The, oh, yeah. I see all that. I want to show my, you know, viewers around. I hope it's okay. Yep, yep. So you guys live around here in um, South Georgia. This is the Psycho Gear. They have pretty much, this is where I bought my helmet. Um, what I think I'm, I wanna buy, I wanna buy another jacket. And this time, I wanna buy me one of those. Let me see if I can find it. Yeah, I think it's right here. This one right here, but the one in black. Um, still looking, how you doing? Good, 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 good. I'm filming. I hope you don't mind. There you go. There you go. Um, yeah, these guys are super amazing, guys. Um, but yeah, what I was saying is, um, I want to buy me a a new jacket. Let me turn this camera off. It's hot. Um, but the black. The oh yeah, there it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. I, I want to buy that. Um, yeah, but I'm behaving myself because I'm not, I promise you guys, I'm not going to buy anything, but that's what I want to get. And I want to make sure they have a, a lot. My, my size is like the medium or the small. So, um, yeah, that, but they got some pretty cool stuff. I bought my Cardo here. They have a lot of uh, them here. They have Cardo, they have Sinners, and, uh, what else do they have here? And they do have some sales from time to time. It looks like I'm doing a free marketing for these guys. By the way, they haven't paid me. And this looks like the, uh, uh, what's the name? Um, the airbag vest. Okay. Um, maybe, maybe. Yeah, I can feel it. Maybe I might buy me one of those, man. Didn't I turn off this camera? There you go. You better stay shut, man. <laughs> So because of the uh, the lenses, it's so sophisticated. You got to always have the bag. See, I'm putting it right in there. And as soon as I get home, I'm going to have to damp all the um, the footages, the footage on there. That way I don't lose anything. Um, if you guys remember what happened to my GoPro, yeah, I learned the hard way. And uh, we're not, we're not going to do that again. So, and this is the my second mic. Let me turn it off. There you go. There you go. And these are the little DJI's um, Mic 2s. I'm going to leave in the link description. But check this out. Um, wow. And it's it looks like you got some weight to it. Let me see. Um, they have a... Let me see. Let me try it on. I don't even know how much it costs. I know Psycho Gear... He always have one on, and uh, he preach about it every single time. But uh, yeah, I would love to have me one of these. I just don't like, like, this is gonna be like a, something that I'm gonna have to worry about every day, like an extra thing that I have to worry about, putting it on, you know, like, it takes me at least 15 to 20 minutes to get ready, just to get on the bike. And now I'm gonna have to worry about this layer oh man let's see let's see how i look like Ooh. you guys see me hi this is grant here actually it looks very nice man yeah it looks very 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 nice um yeah what is that is it a free stuff or what? Um, these guys are extremely busy, so I can't even... Um, but you guys like 
how it looks like on me. I think I like it. I, I think I'm going to buy one. You see, sometimes you have to... Um, stuff that we all see online... It, I, I don't know how to say this. But... Um, if you guys remember... I think I've said this before. When I when I do a reviews and stuff like that, I don't go by the specifications on the on the manufacturer and this. I don't do that kind of stuff, man. I'll I'll get it, and if it works for me, it feels good. I'm so it's sold just like this. So I guess because I haven't tried it on or you know even saw see, seen one in person, that's why I, I kind of I, I'm against it. But this didn't take me that long to throw it on, you know. Um, so seeing it in person is a whole different experience, you know. I, I guess I, I explained myself very well because I, I guess that's the best way I can explain myself, you know. So this is an airbag, and trust me, it will it will protect you from you know, you know, a fall, a spill. I hope so. I hope it can save your life, but um, it feels good on me, and I'm actually like I think um, I, I made a promise, so I'm not gonna buy it today. But definitely, uh, I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna get one. I'm gonna ask them how much is the, this? Is the airbag, right? Yeah. How much is that? Uh, I heard it's for free. For free? Yeah, on Sundays. It's free on Sunday after Sunday after Sunday. Did you guys hear him? Sunday after Sunday. After, so three weeks. After all of you guys come over here. <laughs> <laughs> Can you give me the price? Yeah. Let, let Let me know how much it costs. It feels. Say it again. Six ninety nine. Okay, okay. So it makes sense, you know. We we don't have no airbags. We don't have no seat belt on these two wheels. So if having this, you know, me having it on, it it, it just feels good, and I can see myself buying it. There's uh, another one here. Let me see. I don't think this is an airbag. Sorry. Yeah, this is just a regular. Um, this is just a regular uh, high vase which looks nice as well. But this definitely, 600 and whatever dollars. Yeah, they got some pants. Yeah, I have my, uh, I have a special pant that I ride with, you know. Uh, but yeah, all these vests, jeans. And they have a lot of sales, you know. They have a lot of sales going on here. Um, all these are sale. I need me one of these. I have uh, the battery tender. I need another one. 34 and 49. Yeah, I need another one. I have one that I put on the Sportster. And I need another one for uh, the mini bike. Um, most people complain about the battery. I have zero issue with my battery. Maybe because I keep it on the tender all the time. But uh, yeah, I need me one of those. Let me take this off before I forget. It feels so good. I promise you guys, man. It feels so good. Um, it's like a kid in a candy store. Can you guys imagine? <laughs> it's like a kid in the candy store. Look at this uh, four-wheeler. Looks good, man. Yep. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. Uh, let's go look at the helmet and end the video. So this is at um, in Morrow, Morrow, Georgia. So if you guys live around here, just come around. They got plenty of stuff. They have a lot of sales. I bought a lot of stuff here. Um, but uh, yeah, if you guys want to stop around, I think the Holly is open. Yeah, Holly is open. They have all these modular helmets. Um, and you see they're on sale, 239 um yeah they have a lot of stuff around here so uh the reason why i didn't get one of these is because of my um microphone but they have a way to mount the um if you have a modular helmet you know but i just prefer this one it's just a lot of movement man too many moving parts i don't like that but um it's here guys um yeah they have a lot of stuff around here so yeah they have some visors they have pin lock 
And um, yeah, they have a lot of stuff around here, guys. This this is th this store here, and um, oh, let me see if I can find the one that I want, the showy. It's a showy. I forgot the uh, the model. I know it's showy, and I know the price. I think it's f these are bells. These are bells and it's DCs. Um, these are the shacks. But um, yeah, yeah, they have a lot of stuff around here, guys. I promise you, man. They they have a lot of stuff. And this place is like a candy. <laughs> so yeah, it's a showy something. Oh, then they have these uh, AGV, AGVs. That's an ATV, AGVs. It's very light, man. It's very light. I like the uh, the curtain. Yeah, but it's very light. Come on, is it locked? Oh, you got to push it. Hold up. There you go. So you got to push it. To, oh, wow. All right. Okay. I know these are expensive um, helmets. Let me see how much it is. Not too expensive. Nah, it's four four hundred dollars, three hundred dollars, three fifties. I guess because of the sizes, it's not that expensive. And if you do like um, dead bikes and all that kind of stuff, but yeah, and some boots. These actually don't look bad, but you can imagine if I have one of these boots, you can only use for motor, motor, motorcycling. You can't use to go out, and, you know. That's why I'm racking my. Salomon. Yep, that's why I rock my Salomons. But anyway, yeah, I bought a lot of tools like um, Grease and some other stuffs. They sell ties. I think some point they were selling um, at some point they were selling uh, bikes over there as well. So, but thank you so much, you guys, for joining me on this long episode it's sunday i think i'm gonna break this video into two yep i'm gonna break it into two because it's way too long so i'm gonna just vlog it until the, i left the city and then i'll start it from there and you know just stop it so it's way too long i don't want to have you guys watch it for this long but um yeah thank you so much for you know joining me on this special episode grand dizzy here uh i just want to make sure i'm not missing anything and I am signing off. Peace, peace.